This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 18, Collision, Part 12. I want to know what this code does, so I'm hitting run just to start. Ooh, can I move them? <gasps> I can move them. So this is what I made before, right? With the lives and the coins. I changed that all up in the... And I have a bit of a bug. Um, well, if I hold it. I changed that all up in the last course. Ooh, and it should reset. Anyways, so, but this is my custom version of that game. All right, so it looks like that attaches. So if you are missing that, you are going to click down here. You should go back to our last complex sprite movement. And way down here is where I created it. Okay. So let's see what we're doing on this one. Fly game. Add an obstacle. This is the flyer, the flyer game you built in the last lesson. Cool. For the next several levels, you'll be adding an obstacle sprite to the game. Using some of the sprite interactions you've learned, you just learned. At the end, you'll have a chance to keep adding on ideas of your own. Awesome. Do this. Add an obstacle sprite to the game. You can use whatever image you would like from the animation tab, but the example show, shown here uses a sun. Okay. Right now, you just, right now you just need to add the sprite to your game and give to your game and give it an animation add a new sprite to your game called obstacle okay i want to go find Ooh, that's not what i want is there like a bird there's no bird there although a fish would be fun hmm what else do we have here options options vehicle sound too scary for me oh my gosh wait a minute wait that's not Oh, that's all? What about food? Is there an ice cream cone? It is. We are going to have to dodge a flying ice cream cone. All right. So I added my animation. Now I need to name it obstacle. So variable. And then I'm going to put this. This is where I created a score. So if you're not seeing score, that's just something that I created in mine. If you want to know how to do that, you should go look at my tutorial on the last lesson, uh, the end of the last lesson. So sprite dot obstacle is what we're naming it. Uh, 200, 200, nah. Let's spawn it at 330.62. Or do we just need to add it? Maybe we're just supposed to add it. Oh, well. 65, we'll say. Use the sprite set animation block. Oh, sprite set animation right here. And make sure you change this to obstacle because we named our very op our variable obstacle. Obstacle. Okay. And then I want to set the animation to, oh, dang it. I need to, I'm going to change this. We're just going to call it ice. Ooh, because it's easier. Okay. Don't leave it as these defaults. They're not the best. Ice. Okay. Okay, run the code and make the sprite appear where you want on the screen. You may need to set its X, Y, and scale properly to make it look the way you want. Let's see. Oh, why isn't it even... It's not even drawn? Hey, hey, calm down. Hmm. Oh, because it's going to get drawn over immediately. Hmm. Let's take a look here. Maybe... Oh, don't set this to 650. That's off the page. Let's try now. Ooh, that's a big ice cream cone. All right, so we definitely want to change up the scale. Scale. Uh, sprite. Set animation. Scale. Boom. Below it, right? So it knows what we're talking about. Obstacle, and I think this was in, in points, so 0 0.25 maybe we'll try. Not really sure. Let's see. Oh, that's much better. 
Perfect. A nice big scary ice cream cone. Okay. So I wanted to pull and but we're just gonna fly right through it for now. Cool though, I got mine. Alright. So what I did then, I'm gonna hit reset here, is I just created it up here and yeah, added the scale property. Great, let's uh, keep going.